let's get started on these delicious pineapple jerk wings so once you have your split wings cleaned then you just need to season i'm using jerk seasoning but make sure you're using the wet one or a jerk marinade then i'm adding green seasoning and of course if you're familiar with caribbean cooking you know green seasoning is a blend of like thyme scallion uh, sometimes parsley bell pepper scotch bonnet ginger garlic right and then i'm adding browning browning is basically burnt caramel and we use that in caribbean cooking for color all right now i'm going in with some chicken seasoning if you don't have that you can use all-purpose seasoning then i will add some black pepper yes there is some scotch bonnet in the jerk seasoning but you can add some black pepper massage that into the chicken and then we're gonna let this marinate overnight ideally if you really want to turn up that jerk flavor you can also add some crushed allspice berries okay so this is going to be wrapped up and i'll put it in the refrigerator overnight so the next day to make that really easy pineapple sauce okay i have pineapple juice here you can purchase it or you could just buy the canned pineapple blend it with some water okay then i just added some soy sauce brown sugar white vinegar you can use apple cider vinegar if you prefer and some ketchup to help thicken this a bit i'm going to be adding cornstarch but what i'll do is i'll take a little bit of this liquid and mix it with the cornstarch because that does help to prevent it from lumping up you know so just mix that in there and then add it to the liquid right here i'm going in with some fancy molasses it's one of my favorite ingredients to use for sauces like these because it adds a little color it adds sweetness but it's not as overpowering as you know your regular molasses hopefully you guys can find it i see it in the uh, supermarkets like walmart and you know, i see it everywhere hopefully you can find it then i'm gonna be sauteing some ginger and garlic two of my favorite ingredients if you know you know and this is just to wake up those flavors a bit okay so instead of just adding them to the sauce you know saute them a bit let that garlic get a little golden everything is going to be so much more flavorful when you start it off like this then we'll add the liquids that we whisked together earlier all we need to do now is simmer this on medium heat until it reduces a bit and then it's going to get a little bit thick it doesn't have to be super thick okay so a little bit thicker than this consistency and you're good you can turn off the heat to bake the chicken i have preheated the oven to 450 degrees fahrenheit and then i put the chicken wings on parchment paper on top of a baking tray so we're going to be baking this at 450 fahrenheit for 15 minutes after the 15 minutes this is what the chicken wings look like of course you know they need a little more pep up right so what we'll do is we'll brush on that pineapple sauce or pineapple glaze all over the top here then we'll flip them so out of the oven i'm brushing on some sauce then we'll flip them over now that i've flipped them i'm gonna brush on more sauce on this side of the wings all right then make sure your oven is still at 450 and you're gonna put this back into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and turn on the broiler in the end if you feel like you want some more caramelization some more color okay so sauce these put them in the oven 15 to 20 minutes now here they are out of the oven they smell good they taste so good i garnish with a little you know scallion and minced scotch bonnet but you don't have to you can leave them just like that make sure any sauce that's left over in the pan you brush it all over the wings before you serve it but that is it pineapple jerk chicken wings so good 
Remember to check the description box for the ingredient list and give this a try. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.